it's our second last night in Tokyo and damn time flew by it's insane I'm pretty excited to go home <laughs> to be honest but it's been a good trip Well, this is like truly fatty too. If you had rice, it would just soak every piece of grain of rice. So we've been trying to find a place to eat. The first one had a really long line. The second one, um, the guy literally told us to get out. Get out. And then kicked us into the elevator and didn't let us sit down. So now we're finding a third location for Udon. Hi guys, I need to pause this video to tell you guys why we got kicked out. We went on to search the reviews and it said that the owner is very rude and he tends to kick people out if you have a party more than three because his restaurant is so small. I think it only fits six to eight people and we had four. So the, I think the moment he saw four people, he was like, get the f*** out. Like, you're gonna take out my whole restaurant. Maybe like we'll be too loud because it's a group of us. I don't know. We were not the only ones that got kicked out or had really bad service. Honestly, I would still want to go back because apparently the food is amazing. Like the udon is like chef's kiss. I think because he doesn't really speak English, the only thing that he knows is get out. So he just kicked us out and that's it. We didn't do anything. We just tried to enter his restaurant, which was empty by the way. But because we had a group of four, he did not like that very much. Anyways, let's get back to the video. just got back from dinner and it took me an hour and a half to get back when it should have taken like no more than 50 minutes because we kept missing the train, missed a stop, I went the wrong way, I'm just like all over the place right now. Finally back and ready to pack. Hoping everything will fit in the three luggages because I went a little crazy and now we have to play Tetris and make everything fit and as you can tell the room is a mess i don't know okay three luggages let's see if we can fit everything in there and meet the weight requirement which is 50 pounds or 23 kilograms okay, let's see because i'm worried i am worried when we came here we were right on the dot for two luggages except one of the luggage was inside of another so that means we have an extra 50 pounds we can add but i also bought a lot of skincare which is heavy let's just hope that i don't have to repack at the airport because that is a hassle here's a bit of my travel hack i bought space savers let's try I feel like when people do packing videos, it looks so nice. I'm just a mess. This is how I feel right now. It's just...
Oh, still 24. Let's just hope for the best. Point three over. Let's hope they accept it. arrived in Taipei. I found this random place, so I'm gonna try their XLBs because I am still gonna That's so good. The wrap is so thin here, there's like a lot of soup. This is the crab one because it's like kind of yellow. This is crab for sure. Probably is good, but it's like not as good as the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one's abalone because there was a piece of meat that he kind of chew that wouldn't be in the pork. I really like the first one. The second one is kind of soft, pure pork. Crab roe is uh, not bad. We're down to our last three hours in Taiwan. <laughs> We're going to a night market. It doesn't smell that bad. Maybe I just tolerate the smell because I used to eat it, but it's not bad. It's stinky when you're like at the stall, but it's not bad. Either. 